Okay. So, uh, the topic is red black tree insert operation. Uh, red black tree insert operation. So in the previous video, uh, I have discussed uh, the theories that is related to this insert operation. So if you haven't seen that uh, video, please go watch it. Otherwise, uh, it will make confused if you don't know about uh, red black tree insertion procedures. So in this video, I'm just going to explain an example. Okay. So uh, yeah. Let me take some example. So let's say I have some kind of data sets like this 3, 1, 5, 7, maybe this can be uh, 6 and 8, 9 and 10. Okay, so now I'm going to insert or I'm going to construct a red black tree by using this data set. So we know the red black tree properties and we are going to follow the, follow the red black tree properties and if there is a red black tree property violation we know the corresponding fixing cases so there will be three cases and i already explained those as well so we uh, will choose some case and we fix the issue and we continue the insertion so that is the uh, order okay so we are going to insert a tree so i said that every new insertions are red so initially 3 is red but we know the fact or we know the red black tree property the root must be always black the root is always black so 3 will be black okay so now 3 is inserted so let me insert 1 so 3 will be here and 1 will be here so now uh, we have to see if we violate the red black tree properties okay so root is always black there is no two consecutive road which means the black height is uh, correct so you can see the black height is same so in, in this path black height is one in this path black height is one because there is a null node and null node is always black and there is two null nodes and null nodes always black so part of this having one black height part of this having one black height part of this and one black height okay so black height is uh, are same and this is a valid red black tree so one is inserted so let me insert five uh, so five so three one five again root is black and let me consider the null nodes so it is not necessary to always draw these null nodes if you can see those in your mind it will be easier to understand so again black heights are same which means we haven't violated any red black tree properties so let me continue so let us insert seven so i am pretty sure in this insertion it will make our red black tree invalid see now we inserted seven but now we have two consecutive red nodes so this is two consecutive red nodes. So this is a red black tree property violation. So we we must fix this issue. So what is the case? So this is the C. This is the PZ. This is the PPZ, and this is the anchor or maybe U. So I have discussed the four uh, three cases already. So what is the case? So this is case one because uncle is red and you insert a node is uh, red so this is the case one so if you don't know about these cases please go watch the previous video because i, I explained these three cases in descriptively okay so if we encounter case one first we must perform recolor and we must increment the pointer to the uh, grandparent okay so first let's recall so re recoloring make this uncle and parent as black and the grandparents as red so grandparent is red 
this is the parent it is black it is sorry this is the uncle it is black and this is the parent it is black and new insert node is always red okay and we increment the pointer the pointer is already here and it is still having a violation which, which is root is uh, root is red so root must be black so root must be black so we can just simply recolor root as black so 3 1 5 and 7 ok now we insert 7 so let me insert 6 so 3 1 5 every newly inserted nodes are red so 6 and 7 still we are in the safe side because if I consider the black heights uh, black heights are still uh, still okay uh, okay okay sorry uh, I made a great mistake <laughs> don't laugh at me mistakes can happen anyone <laughs> okay so how the hell I am inserting 6 for this side okay uh, so 6 will be inserted over here okay now again we have two consecutive red nodes these are two consecutive red nodes so we must do a fix so we must consider the case so what is the case so this is z this is pz this is p p c and none i haven't drawn the uncle but you must know which is this fact nil nodes are always black or null pointers are always black so in this case our uncle is black and what is this case uncle is black and our our c is red and c is the left side so this is the case 3 okay case 3 so again if you don't know what is the case then please go watch the previous video because everything is there so if it is a case 3 what we have to do simple right first we perform a rotation then we do a color swap so color swap is the recoloring in the case 3 okay so rotation will take place within this 7 is it this 7 so um, let me choose a color so rotation so first I perform uh, so look at the uh, look at the uh, rotation case as well okay so this is in the left uh, right left order this is the right left order so we must perform first uh, right rotation at 7 and left rotation at 5 okay so I've already discussed rotations in the previous videos as well so first I'm going to perform a left uh, sorry uh, right rotation okay so 3 1 5 nothing changes but 6 will go over here and 7 will be go over, he over here okay so we already performed a right rotation it is still not fixed this is the right left case so we must perform a left rotation as well so if I perform a left rotation so 3 1 and what is the new root because I am performing a left rotation over here so the new root will be 6 and 7 will be there and 5 will move downside ok then rotation is ok so we done this then the recoloring so I already said that case 3 recoloring means the swapping of the colors of PPC and PZ 
a swapping of the colors of grandparents and its pair. So in this case, this is our grandparent and this is the parent because 5 is the grandparent and sorry, uh, 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 okay, so this is our uh, grandparent. So we swap the colors of the grandparents with the immediate parent, okay, it's just a uh, swapping, color swapping. So 5 will move to go this side. So uh, there is a there is a trick as well. So I will teach you that trick in later. So you can easily do this stuff. So recoloring. So three one is over here. So colors will be swapped, right? In the recoloring, colors will be swapped. So six will be colors as black, and five will be colors as red. So now we color swap and 7 is already what already red so we recolor so maybe maybe uh, some some uh, some teachers will teach you this recoloring can be done always making the corresponding root as black and the corresponding uh, child's are red okay uh, that is the trick i have been saying so if you don't know about this color swapping so it is it is easy but if you make if you get confusing about this color swapping please remember that in the case 3 recoloring always make these six as black these children are red okay. that's a trick but the theory behind that trick is the just color swapping okay again now we are fixed and we successfully inserted six so let me uh, insert eight as well so three one six and five seven eight okay now I'm going to uh, do a color fixing again so you know the order. So this is C, this is PZ, this is PPZ, this is Ankur. So Ankur is red and C is red. This is the case 1, which is we encounter in the first case as well. So first we do a recolor and we increment the pointer. So I will just directly, directly write that fact. So 1. So if you perform a recolor, 6 will become red. Okay, I haven't used the color, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, this is the color. So, 6 and 5 and 7 makes black and 8 makes as red. And increment the pointer to over here. Okay. So, we are good, right? Because black heights are same and root is black. So, we are good. So, case 1 already fixed the issue. So, let me insert 9. So, 3, 1, and this is what? This is 6, and this is 5, 7, and 8, 9. Okay. Again, we have two consecutive red nodes so what is the specific order this is c this is pz this is p p z and now our uncle is black so if we having black uncle and our new inserted node is right child of this specific subtree this is the uh, this is which case this is the case 2 okay this is case 2 so in the case 2 we simply perform a left rotation over 7 so it will move to case 3 as well I explained that fact in the previous video so 3 
1 and we got 6 and 5 so this is the rotation 8 9 will be here and 7 will be here okay now it seems like a complete mess but don't get confused so this is the case 2 fix and now we going to move case 3 fix so now uh, root is uh, let's say this is our c and this is uh, pz and this is ppz and this is our uncle uncle is black and again c is right okay so we simply perform what sorry 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 uh, I made a mistake over here so now what is the C so C okay uh, so this is case 2 so we move from case 2 so only we have to do is uh, the case 3 color flip right because we are not going to do uh, any more uh, rotations so as a case 3 we do a recolor so 7 and 8 the color should be swapped okay so uh, the final outcome will be 3 1 and this will be 6 and this will be 5 this will be black 8 and this will be red 7 and red 9 okay so black cards are same root is black so we successfully inserted 9 okay let me insert the last value 10 so uh, 3 1 and 6 and 5 8 and 7 9 and 10 okay now we have two consecutive red nodes so we know the specific case so this is c pz epz and this is again uncle so all we have to do is first recolor because this is case one first we do recolor and we increment the pointer to a grand to its grand pair so three and one and six and five now eight is red because we applied pre-coloring and its child of seven and nine will be black and the newly inserted node is remain uh, red and we increment the pointer to its grandparent which is over here so now this is again another case so we have to consider uh, again the fixing because there exist two consecutive red nodes so what is the specific case so this is c this is pz this is p p z okay so uncle is black and the child is right child so this is case 2 so first we perform so we, we just perform a rotation over 6 okay so it will make 8 to go upside and 6 have to go downside which is uh, like this let me uh, so color So, uh, 
okay uh, so look at the order as well so order is right right so this is the right right case so we perform a left rotation over 3 okay. those are basic uh, point research tree rotation properties so if you don't know about such stuff look at the previous videos again so 8 and 3 will be here 1 5 will be here 7 9 will be here and 10 will be here so we successfully performed our rotation so uh, now we only have to do swap the colors because it will point to case 3 I already told that if you encounter case 2 it will always point to case 3 look at the previous one as well so if we encounter case 2 it will always point to case 3 as well so if if it is necessary to be rotated there will be rotation but if it pointed to uh, case 2 to case 3 we already performed the rotation right so only we have to do is swap in the colors so swap in the colors is the recoloring of the case 3 because the rotation is already happened over case 2 because the case 2 is pointing to case 3 and when you are considering case 3 it must must be happened rotation so the rotation already happened in the case 2 so we only do the color swapping so that is the exact same thing happening over here so 6 is colored as black and 3 will be colored as red so the outcome will be uh, 6 is colored as black 3 is colored as red and it will colored as red and 1, 5, 7, 9, and 10. So root is black, black heights are same. So the tree is balanced. Red, black tree is balanced, and we successfully inserted each and every data to this red black tree. So it is kind of difficult to understand in the uh, first sight, but don't get confused. This is easy thing. So only you have to do is do more factories. So I only followed the red black tree properties and the corresponding red black tree cases, red black tree uh, fix up cases. So we successfully inserted this data set. And uh, that is insertion. And then in the next video, I will discuss red black tree deletion, which is one of the most difficult topic in uh, data structures and algorithm. Thank you.